Hello and welcome back to another Law Reading with Mimioni. This is a series where I've been looking at the Encyclopedia Eorzea in real life book that contains tons of lore and backstory for Final Fantasy XIV and its associated franchise. Today we're going to be looking at the chapter on Hells and Heavens. We actually looked at creation and gods last time, so it's only natural that we look at the next part of that. And we're going to basically go through the entire book in this playlist. So if you're into that, I hope you're sitting comfortably, because I'll begin. Hells and Heavens Every god and goddess of the Twelve is associated with one of the six controlling elements. When the deities deemed their work on Eorzea complete, they proceeded to create the Thermanent, the result being six astrally aligned heavens, aspected to each of the six elements, and a final seventh heaven to rule them all. However, a residual product of these heavens were six similarly aspected hells, ruled by an all-encompassing, umbrally aligned seventh hell. The six lower heavens are represented in the sky by six constellations. Star formations, astrologians, also perceive as gates that when opened can allow a person to become attuned with the heavens and manipulate their ether. These constellations revolve around the pole star, which is believed to be the gate to the seventh and final heaven. While some sects of Twelve Worship have different views of the afterlife, most believe that the righteous are promised a place in the heavens, while sinners are doomed to an eternity of punishing trials in the hells. A belief made popular by a famous theologian and playwright of the Sixth Astral Era states that upon an evil man's death, he will fall to a hell that corresponds to the sins he committed in his lifetime. Once suffering an eternity in payment for these sins, he must journey through the remaining five upper hells and witness the sins of his brothers before finally arriving at the gate of the seventh hell where his heart will be weighed if it is heavy with sorrow and repentance for what he has done he will be sent to the heavens but if it remains light he will be admitted to the seventh hell where he will suffer forevermore and here are these six hells the first is the hell and heaven of fire in the heaven of fire sprawls an endless city, built by Nald Fal from golden bricks fired in the heart of Azema's son. Here reside the just and the fair, the honest and the philanthropic. The hell of fire was formed when the rubble left after the creation of its heavenly counterpart was cast from the firmament into the dark pit and set alight. Here burn those who wrongly judged their peers, those who tricked their customers, and those who gave and received occurs. The next is the hell and heaven of water. To create the river which runs through the heaven of water, Nymea melted a star, to which Valiac added the essence of knowledge, and then poured it forth from his ewer. Here reside the scholars and inventors, the teachers and the entrepreneurs. From the bed of the celestial river did forsaken droplets fall to the pit, where they settled and stagnated, creating the hell of water. Here drowned deceivers, counterfeiters, mountbanks, and false prophets. The third is the hell and heaven of wind. In the heaven of wind rises a towering mountain range, atop which Oshon looks out upon the endless sea, ruled by Limlean. Here rest explorers and adventurers, mountain climbers, saints, and those who rescued the aforementioned souls from peril. Rogue gusts from on high incite terrible tempest in the pit, creating the hell of wind, where mountain bandits, defilers of land and sea, and pirates suffer as the air tears flesh from bone and soul from flesh. Here is the fourth hell and heaven. The fourth is the hell and heaven of ice. In the center of this heaven rises a lofty palace of ice, ice made of frozen moonbeams and carved with the Fury's own spear. Here reside epic heroes and gallant knights, the benevolent and the faithful. From Helone's gelid palace do piercing icicles plummet to the pit, creating the hell of ice. Here suffer cowards, deserters, and adulterers. The fifth is the hell and heaven of lightning. In the heaven of lightning, one will find a towering clockwork spire, built by Birigot, with metal forged from a comet, and powered by Raulga's levin bolts. 
Here rest engineers and architects, revolutionaries and conquerors of evil. Levin-charged fragments of the comet plummet to the pit to form the Hell of Lightning, a place of damnation for vandals, slumlords and warmongers. And finally, the sixth is the Hell and Heaven of Earth. To create the Heaven of Earth, Nothica planted a single sapling, which Alphic instantly coaxed to maturity by bending time itself. Under this mighty sentinel's boughs sit farmers and naturalists, historians and archaeologists. Leaves fallen from the tree and left to rot in the pit are what create the hell of earth. Here lie buried thieves and defilers of nature, liars and revisionists. And so wraps up the chapter on the hells and heavens of Eorzea. Thank you kindly for watching this video, hopefully it was interesting, and I'll see you all next time for more lore.